Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. Mummy shoes. Mummy shoes. Mummy shoes. Mummy shoes. Mummy shoes. Where's me your shoes? Daddy shoes. Daddy shoes. Daddy. Oh, Bobby sleep. Daddy, 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 daddy. Good morning. So uh, it is, what's today's date, like the 27th, I think, yeah. Um, this time last year, roughly this time last year, we went to Kent and on the first day of autumn, the 21st, the weather suddenly changed. Well, this week, this year, it's been exactly one week later that the weather has changed, as you can see. Yesterday was pretty warm and sunny and today it is definitely autumn. So, you know, that's how it is. Let's have a look outside. I hope my rug isn't getting too damp. It is, okay, I need to do something about that. This is rugs out here because Amelia uh, vomited all over it. I'm sure you really want to know that. Yeah, this is, um, this is what autumn looks like. It's uh, crap. <laughs> Good afternoon, it's Monday. Uh, Crystal is at work in the office. Amelia is at nursery, baby work if you will, and I am going to the post office to post a couple of things. One is to do with the sale of the flat. Um, the weather today is, as you saw earlier, very unpredictable because look at it now. It's definitely not summery though. <laughs> um, we're making an offer on another property today the property we bid on last week um, we were heavily outbid by one one particular buyer I think we were second but second ain't nothing when you're buying a house anyway this is a completely different property in every sense in a different place and it's a property with a lot of potential and therefore a lot of cost. But it could, maybe, in a few years, be quite amazing. But we gotta get it for the right price. Welcome to Q. It is a mixed day. It, it looks like it's gonna be very, very wet this afternoon. So I thought this is the moment to pick to come into the gardens. Also, it's an excuse really to try it and try out this camera, um, see how good it is for nature, because that's most of what I photograph and film. See how good it is when you go super wide. It's not bad. This is, this is the worst lens, the super wide lens, but it has its benefits. And then um, you can also, if we come around here, and let's go for a little walk down. And here, see how the HDR copes with the weird lighting pretty well. I'm going to take this camera on a, a shoot on Thursday. I'm going to actually try to use it professionally. Uh, it's very windy, so apologies in advance. Uh, the only other thing you can do with this, which is quite impressive, is the telephoto lens. So if I just snoop on these people for a moment. Very good. Look at the Temper House. It really is one of the most amazing buildings. Um, I think they're getting ready for the Japanese festival that's coming up. I wonder if you can get in. It might be closed at the moment. Well, have a look. Let's go and see what happens if we try and go in the door. I'm still wearing masks indoors. I'm not sure a lot of people are, but it seems just like a common courtesy to me so until I'm told explicitly not to wear one which I don't imagine will happen I'm going to continue to do so uh, so it is currently closed which is fair enough they're dismantling the previous exhibition um, have a look at this place on super wide because you really get a feel for the scale of it um, 
the insulation that's going into the main part of the temperate house is quite remarkable. It's a kind of hanging, you can see some of it through there, hang on. Hanging red foliage. Um, okay, one of the doors is open, I've come in. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be in, but here we are. There's the waterfall. Here is the remarkable hanging exhibition. I think it's Wishes hanging on red string. Hi there, happy um, Thursday. It's the last day of September, which has come around fast. I mean, from my perspective, summer didn't really happen this year. We've had a very nice weather September up to this point, although it's not going to continue into October. But um, we didn't do anything summery. We didn't really, well, we didn't go on holiday and we didn't really make the most of the summer, although it wasn't the greatest weather-wise, but it kind of passed us by is the point. Buying and selling houses do does that a bit, and we're still in that process. We've made another offer today on this new property, which is not new, it's in the 1930s. And we'll know by tomorrow whether they've got they accepted it or not. And if they don't, we have to start again and again. And if I'm honest, like we've just we've run out of steam. We, <laughs> we haven't got any more energy at this point. It's kind of very difficult, so I'm really hoping that we don't have to. Um, it's just sort of the, an ongoing sort of emotional drain and the sort of ups and downs of finding a place you like and then not getting it. After a while, it just takes its toll and you just need to step away for a bit, and I think we might have to do that if, you know... And I, it's difficult because we've got a buyer from our, from our place and we're trying our best to keep them, but at some point you just kind of... You know, there's no more you can do. So, we'll know in 24 hours. Westminster Park Plaza. I, this place is so vivid for me. It was, it would be two years ago in February that I was last here and we did a big event and it lasted about three days and COVID was coming and none of the Chinese or Asian delegates could come over. And so this was sort of stuck in my brain as the last thing I did just come to see how the crew rooms are doing and so for you know we were wandering around here joking around there was no masks or hand sanitizers none of that existed at that point and nobody really knew what was coming except that there was something coming and it was all quite light-hearted and it finished in a nice bar around the corner and it was a newish client actually i think and um, i don't know what's happened to them but uh uh, the event was called ISIS, which in hindsight is a terrible idea. 